Sairam children, hope all are fine. So we are back to the session and today we will be taking, we will be continuing our chapter in the science subject, chapter 3, teeth and microbes and this is the part 3 video. So let's recollect what we learned in part 1 and 2. I hope you all remember, yes, what we learned in part 1 video. So it's all about the milk teeth, permanent teeth, the temporary teeth and how many teeth do we have when the child is 3 years old and uh, for an adult or for an adult how many teeth do they have so what is milk teeth so the first set of teeth is made up of milk teeth or the temporary teeth so how many set of teeth do you have uh, when you are 3 years old Yes, it is 20. When you are 3 years old, 20 set of teeth you, you, you will have. And when you get your first tooth? When you were a baby. That is when you were how many months? 6 or 7 months. So when the baby becomes 6 or 7 months, it will get a first tooth. Right, so when the child is 6 years old, so what happens that time? The milk teeth will fall, the milk teeth will fall and the new teeth will grow in that place. And those teeth are called as permanent teeth. And what is called permanent? Yes, permanent means it will not fall but in case if you have if you do any damage to your teeth or if your kid or or if your teeth gets damaged then if you, there is no proper hygiene then your permanent teeth also may fall right children okay so And uh, we also learnt about the kinds of teeth. So the upper jaw and the lower jaw. And I told you to look at the mirror, open your mouth wide and uh, notice the different kinds of teeth with different shapes. Did you do that? Hope you all must have done. Okay, so did you com compare the teeth children? Yes, so we can see different types of teeth. So what are the different types of teeth that we learnt in the part 2 video? So what are the different types of teeth children? There are four types of teeth. They are incisors, canine, premolars and molars. So what are incisors teeth called? They are called as cutting teeth. And where, where can you find them? It is in front of the jaw. There are four teeth. So how many teeth? There are four teeth at the front of each jaw. So upper jaw and the lower jaw. So four plus four, eight. So totally eight incisors teeth we have at the front of the jaw. Okay. Next one is canine teeth. What are called canine teeth? Yes, it is called tearing teeth. So, it is very sharp and pointed. The canine teeth are next to the incisors. So, they are used for tearing the food like meat and all. Okay, so how many are they? They are. There are four canine teeth in all. Next is premolars. So, where are the premolars teeth? Next to the canine teeth. So, how many premolars? Two teeth on each side, right? So, there are total eight premolars teeth in all. So, how do they look? They are flat and wide. So, they are called as crushing teeth. Premolars teeth are called as crushing teeth. And um, what is the next one? Molars, yes, molars teeth are called as grinding teeth. So, what do they do? They grind the food. So, the molars teeth, 
there are at the back side of our jaw so three teeth at the back of the mouth next to the premolars so you can see the molars next to the premolars so they are broader and they help to grind the food so three three down and three three up on each side so there are 12 molars in all and um, so I, I i had asked you the question also so how many set of teeth does an adult have i had asked you and, um, and no one has given the answer so i'm waiting for the answer kids so please count the teeth and please let me know and today we'll be learning the structure of the teeth gum is called the crown so children what is called crown the outer part the part of the tooth that can be seen about the gum is called the crown and what is called enamel the outer layer of the crown it is called enamel and how does it look it is a substance which is very hard that you cannot scratch it so it is the hardest substance that we can find in our body so you can check how much hard it is so just take your finger and just hit your teeth like this and find how much hard your teeth is okay and what is called dentine so below the enamel it is dentine what is called dentine beneath beneath means below the enamel there is a layer of dentine there is a layer of dentine it is a soft like uh, soft like tissues okay and what is called pulp so pulp where the blood vessels and nerves we can see in the pulp and it is the innermost portion of the tooth it is the innermost portion of the tooth it is called the pulp and what is called root children the part of the tooth that is inside the gums is it is called the root so what is the function of the root the root holds the tooth firmly firmly means strongly in one place like the root of a plant like the root of a plant now let's learn about damage to our teeth so damage to our teeth what does it mean what is mean the what is the meaning of damage yes if something happens to that thing suppose for a you take a book your cup your table anything so if it is broken or if it is crashed or some cracks are there or something is there so it is called damaging it is called damage so our tooth also gets damaged our tooth also gets damaged how so you take a cricket bat and hit your teeth hit your mouth yes sometimes we play that time there's a chance to fall and our gums start bleeding our tooth also starts bleeding and uh, sometimes we our tooth are broken sometimes our tooth are broken so these are some of the ways damaging our teeth 
but how does our teeth gets damaged naturally it means we don't know how our teeth got damaged so children if you look after your permanent teeth properly if you look after your permanent teeth properly means how will you look after yes by brushing our teeth properly by brushing the teeth properly we look after our teeth so if you look after your permanent teeth properly your teeth will last for a lifelong time so till you become old your teeth will be there with you otherwise you might have to lose your teeth right so but if you do not look after them they will decay so if you don't brush your teeth properly if you don't brush your teeth properly so it will get decay decay means something black black color spots you will get on your teeth and finally it will fall out so this decay is the germs are eating your teeth enamel the germs are eating your teeth enamel slowly the these germs will produce some acids if you don't brush your teeth properly the germs will stay there and do a party in your gums and mouth so it is advised that brush your teeth properly so not only in front at the back side also in a rotating motion you have to brush your teeth so children once the permanent teeth falls out so if your permanent teeth is falling then don't expect that new teeth will grow in that place so only the milk teeth falls you will get the new teeth but if the permanent teeth falls you will never ever get the permanent teeth so it is therefore very important to look after our teeth so how do we look after our eyes ears hairs so same way we have to look after our teeth so there are some incidents that uh, when you are eating your food so when you are eating your food we eat many types of food sometimes hard food soft food and whatever food whenever we are eating our food so small bits of food small small tiny bits so our teeth helps to break the food particles and helps to grind the food particles so sometimes the small bits of food get stuck between your teeth so in between your two teeth there is a gap there is a very small gap so in that gaps the food will go and stuck it stuck in between your teeth so if these bits of food are not removed so what will happen the germs will enjoy the food the germs will enjoy the food to so small living things they are called as these germs are called as small living things which we cannot see with our eyes so these small living creatures start growing in your mouth and they will enjoy they will feast in your mouth so whatever food you are eating do you want to share with your with the germs no we should not share with the germs we should kill the germs but how to kill the germs yes only by proper brushing only by proper brushing we can remove these germs out and immediately after having the food we should gargle our mouth and uh, as i told you these germs how do we get cavities due to this germs but what does this germs do in our mouth see they produce some 
acids they produce some acids which are very harmful to our enamel which is very harmful to our enamel so this they these germs they make a small holes they are called as cavities they make a small holes so day by day these germs population will increase in your mouth and slowly slowly they will multiply so if you have two germs today then tomorrow you will get four then next day eight then next day 16 so it keeps on multiplying the germs will keeps on multiplying so you can see a lot of germs in the mouth in the teeth so if you don't remove your food particles so these germs will develop many germs so it will become many germs and they will start producing the acids so these acids are very harmful for the enamel and these germs they will also feel hungry right and they start eating our teeth they start eating our teeth and they will make a black hole which is called cavity as you can see in this picture which is called cavity and these holes day by day in the first or second day it will it will be like a tiny dot we cannot recognize also we will not know also what is this so we may not pay attention to our cavities because it is very tiny so after few days these cavities will enlarge will get enlarged so these cavities hole will become very big then your dentine your pulp will start getting hurt then you will get a pain you cannot eat the food in that in that side so if you have cavities in that side so when you eat your food your food go and fill in that hole then it is very difficult to remove the food particles from that hole so children these germs they produce acids and they start eating and start making the cavities very big so as the germs continue to attack your teeth the cavities become very bigger and deeper it goes very deep inside the root also so if the uh, germs start eating your roots then your tooth may fall your then you will have to go to the doctor then the dentist doctor will give you injection and he, they, he will remove your teeth so if a cavity reaches the pulp the tooth starts hurting then you will get swelling on your cheeks your mouth your face will be you will get swellings so it is very difficult to bear that pain and now children how to escape from this tooth cavities how to escape from these germs so how will you ex escape what are you going to do are you going to fight with the germs no are you going to put some medicines in your mouth no are you going to take some any sharp objects and kill the germs no so there are some ways to protect our teeth if you follow it regularly your teeth will be absolutely fine right children so now let us learn how to take care of our teeth so the first and the foremost thing you have to remember is whenever you have your meal gargle your mouth after the meal after every meal so finish eating your food only wash your hands no after washing their hands take some water put it in your mouth and gargle swill the water very nicely gargle it thoroughly and spit it out and spit it out so that extra food whichever food that is stuck in between our teeth will be removed so remember 
after every meal you need to gargle your mouth so this is the first important point right children i hope you will follow this in the second one is so how many times do you brush your teeth yes <clears throat> we should brush our teeth twice that is one as soon as you wake up in the morning and the next one is before you go to sleep so twice it is very must that you have to brush your teeth twice a day so why should we brush our teeth twice because this removes the bits of food stuck between your teeth otherwise if you don't brush in the night time you go to sleep without brushing your teeth and what happens so early in the morning you will get a bad breath right your mouth will stink and all germs will be dancing they will have a party in your mouth so to get rid of all this you have to brush your teeth at night also so brush for at least 2 minutes okay so brushing means just take a brush put the toothpaste just brush it spit it wash it over no slowly properly in a correct way so for 2 minutes brush 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 so how do you wash your hands now so with a sanitizer are you washing yes in same way why are you using the sanitizer just to remove the germs that are stuck in your hands so in the same way you have to brush your teeth for 2 minutes so that the germs will be removed so move your brush to the front teeth also then at the back side also so move it in a circle shape when you are brushing your teeth at the front move it up and down like this and then in a circle position while brushing your teeth and don't forget to brush at the back of your teeth so inside also we have at the side also we have so look at this first picture how is brushing the front teeth and here at inside and in the third picture you can see at the sidewise inside the sidewise also you should brush your teeth and as i told you in the first video before we start the lesson what i told you that you should have the habit of visiting the dentist once in a year so ask your parents to take you to the dentist regularly to check for the cavities so only the dentist will check your tooth because we cannot see with our eyes because it, the day, the cavity may be very small that we will not be able to identify so the cavities may start in between your teeth or or at the side or at the very end of the the last tooth so all that only the dentist can see and tell you if there are cavities are presented in your mouth so if there are cavities by chance if you have cavities then the dentist will help you to avoid further damage to your teeth so he will help you to avoid further damage to your teeth so if your whole if the cavity is little bigger he will clean clean that hole and he will fill it with the cement or he may put the crown or he may do the root canal so there are a lot of treatments for your tooth damaging so so if at all if your tooth gets damaged you can take the treatment so that you will save your teeth otherwise if you don't visit to the doctor then you will have to lose your teeth and what happens that if you get a cavity in one tooth the cavities will spread to other tooth then the next tooth then 
finally all your tooth will become very weak and all the teeth will have cavities and you will suffer a lot so children tell your parents to take you to the dentist regularly right okay next one is yes you all like to eat sticky sticky chocolates chocolate cakes yes pastries Mm, all chocolatey items so all are very sticky so avoid eating sticky chocolates and sweets so you should avoid eating sticky chocolates and sweets if at all once in a while it is okay if suppose if you eat also so immediately brush your teeth and gargle it thoroughly so children avoid frizzy drinks so you all like to Drink cold drinks, yes, Pepsi, Coca Cola. So many cold drinks are available in the market. So you all love to drink all those things, right? So avoid frizzy drinks because they have acids in them. Because they have acids in them and they are not good for the health. And children, they are not good for the health. So children. So drink plenty of milk and eat eggs and eat green leafy vegetables. So which makes your body strong. It gives you a lot of vitamin A and calcium. So what is necessary for the strong teeth and bones? So if you want strong teeth and bones, what is required? Yes, calcium is the essential elements that is required for the strong teeth and for the strong bones so drink plenty of milk and if you are eating eggs have eggs if you don't then have plenty of green leafy vegetables so it gives you vitamin a and calcium which is good for your teeth now children let us learn about some microbes that is bacteria so there are millions of tiny living creatures in the air water and soil and of course inside our body also now you must be very aware of what are called these germs bacteria because now lockdown period we are staying at home why are we staying at home because in the air there are germs are there bacteria is there so if we go out then with the bacteria which will enter in our nose through the air so it is spreading through the air so same with there are millions of tiny living creatures in the air water soil and in our body also so there are they are so small they are very tiny that cannot be seen with our naked eyes that cannot be seen with our naked eyes we can see only through a microscope so children if you have fever that means some germs have attacked your body so what does the doctor do doctor will do the blood test so what we what he will do so he will remove some blood and they put that blood in the microscope slides and they check which bacteria is present in your body which is creating a disturbance to your body so what disease you have so this microscope helps us to identify these tiny living creatures so these tiny living things they are called as microbes they are called as microbes now children some microbes are useful that means there are some are good and some are very bad now the bacteria which we have outside now is it bad or good it is very dangerous right yes but some microbes are useful to us which is and the others are harmful so many of them causes diseases so disease causing microbes they are called as germs so disease causing microbes disease causing bacteria they are called as germs so 
there are four kinds of microbes. Can you see in the picture, children? They are called as bacteria, protozoa, viruses and fungus. What are they? Bacteria, fungi, protozoa and viruses. Now, what is this bacteria called? This bacteria is found everywhere. On the vegetables, on the fruits, in your hands, in the air and wherever you touch. This bacteria is found. So, they are the most common living things on the earth. They are of different shapes. Now, you can see in the slide, it is given very lightly. So, you can download your textbook and you can see it clearly, children. So, these bacteria are in different shapes. And some harmful bacteria, they cause typhoid, malaria, and uh, cholera, cholera. That this cholera, these bacteria are found in water. And um, some food poisoning, it may cause some food poisoning also. And they also cause the tooth decay. So when we eat the outside food, which is not hygienic, so we may get some diseases because bacteria is stuck in that food through area through some wa air, water, whatever it is. So, it's very harmful to eat the outside food. So, children, useful bacteria helps in the decay of dead plants and animals. So, sometimes you must have seen dead plants or dead, an dead animals, which is not buried. You must have seen in the forest and all. So, after a few days, these they get decayed. They get rotten. These animals and the dead plants, they get rotten and in that some bacteria is found which is useful for the soil. So, they become fertilizer for the soil. They are used to make some food also. So, if you, if you want idli or dhokla, that uh, batter should be fermented, right? So, overnight they keep outside. So, yeast is formed. That is also a type of bacteria. So, like uh, the they are making in such foods like uh, vinegar, cheese and yogurt. So, yogurt also some bacteria is there which is good for our health. Yogurt means curd. Yeah. Some bacteria helps animals to digest food. So, in our intestine also we have some bacteria which helps to digest the food. Now, what is called protozoa? So, protozoa means it the biological name for that is protozoan, and for the bacteria is bacterial. And um, this protozoan it lives in wet places. So, can you see it's like a chapel shape, rocket shape, something? Yes, they are called as protozoan. So, they, are, they live in wet places and in the bodies of plants and animals. So, some of them, they cause the disease like malaria. So, you have to be very careful of this protozoan. And the next thing is virus. Yes, virus are the smallest of all the microbes. So, what do we find in the air now? some virus so coronavirus we find in the air now it is the smallest it's very tiniest microbes so they cause disease like common cold yes what happens if we get corona we have cold and fever yes common cold influenza means flu that is fever or measles mumps and polio so these viruses they cause very dangerous diseases so we have to be very careful and protect ourselves from these viruses right children and the next one is fungi the biological name of fungi is fungus 
so fungi grow on dead and rotting materials so they grow on dead and rotting materials suppose if you have any fruits that is spoilt that is rotten so you must you can see the fungus growing on that or any vegetables or any fruits that has that has got spoiled so what happens fungus will grow on that particular material so they cause skin problems so in your clothes also if your clothes is wet and if you don't dry it properly some fungus will grow on the wet clothes and if you don't wash it then if you wear the same clothes then you will get a skin skin rashes in problems such as ringworms and dandruff for example you wear you have the habit of cap when you go out you wear the cap but you don't we don't wash the cap so what happens if you use again and again and again so that fungus will be there in the cap and we get dandruff and hair also if we don't wash our hair regularly we get sweatings in our ha hair and if we don't remove the sweatings the fungus will remain and it will start growing that is called dandruff so it's better to wash your hair regularly and be careful and avoid this you can avoid this fungus very easily so some fungi are also useful so yeast is a fungus it is used for making bread so how is bread that you can how is bread made that you will learn in the higher classes so this bread is made up of yeast by forming the yeast so, so there are some useful fungus also and harmful fungus also so children this is the end of the lesson the teeth and the microbes so what we learned we learned about the permanent teeth milk teeth and the kinds of teeth and what are they called how are they used and structure of a teeth and yes how to take care of our teeth how to get rid of damaging our teeth and about different types of viruses bacteria, microbes that is called different types of microbes so we learned about four types of microbes bacteria protozoa virus and fungus so some are very harmful also some are very useful also so this is the end of this lesson children the link is given down for your assignment complete and pause the video if you don't understand so listen again and again i hope you will understand very easily and go through the words and start doing the assignments with the help of these videos so if you don't understand pause the video and listen again and again till then stay safe stay home bye bye children